GDDEC X Plus is one good looking printer that can easily print carbon fiber nylon and are fully enclosed. If you are looking a printer for a bit more serious work, is this right choice for you? This question will be answered in next 10 minutes. Enjoy! So let's start with the unboxing. First thing after opening this box I have all accessories and tools. By the way I was really surprised about the stuff that came with the printer. You will get from the box extra hot end and this is not a backup one. This is for high temperature materials. It can reach up to 300 degrees. Plus the nozzle is hardened steel. So if you wanna print carbon fiber nylon, here you are. But this doesn't stop here. How good can GDDEC be to include a whole 1 kg spool of PLA plus filament? Really nice. And the rest of the things in the box is spool holder, power wire, internet cable and everything that you need for printing and maintenance. Ok now let's take a printer out of the box and by the way this printer is 100% pre-assembled. All that we need to do is to remove those protection materials for shipping and we are done. Ready for printing. Now when all the white stuff is out we can start printing, but first bed leveling. For bed leveling you have two options, fast leveling and normal leveling. Normal leveling is you have to turn the knobs like with the most of the printers, but with fast leveling what I'm doing right now basically you set C axis offset. Just saying, the moment when I'm recording this voice cover I have used this printer for almost two months and this is the only time when I level this bed. The bed is just not going out of the level. My first print is a test model that came with a USB stick. I got a little preview on the screen but I didn't understand what this is. I'm using the filament that came with the printer. The noise level is fine. Fine I mean it's not the quietest printer that I have ever used but it's not so loud that it makes me complain. The print surface is held on with a bunch of magnets and to get this off you need some force. Those magnets are mad. Oh. The first print, still have no idea what it is but it turns out really nice. PLA stick on this print bed a bit too well and it's not positive thing, you see this really soon. The scariest part is to put this print surface back, just make sure you won't hurt yourself. In one of my previous video I built this storage box and all those orange drawers are printed with this printer. All those drawers turned out absolutely nice quality prints, but all didn't survive from the process removing them from the print surface. Trying to remove those drawers, I just break them. To fix this, I use a glue stick. How it helps, I hear you asking. <laughs> Between the part and print surface, there is one thin layer of glue, so the PLA will not print it directly on the print surface, but on the glue. And the glue does not stick so well on the print surface and it's possible to remove those parts in one piece. My last print with PLA in this video is this undead skeleton. I printed this with 100 mm per second. It turned out pretty well. But now let's move on to a bit more serious materials. First I printed one small test wind turbine for my upcoming video. This ABS part didn't warp at all and also no layer separation. So the ABS test passed successfully. Only little imperfections are those blobs on the one side of the blade. I didn't record those closely but we will see those once more when I bring with carbon fiber nylon. Removing the ABS part from the pull plate was really nice. 
At this moment I understand that this printing surface is aimed for this type of materials that don't want to stick on the regular printing surface so well or warps madly. But now a quick overview of this printer. This printer has 270 times 200 times 200 printing volume. It isn't the biggest, but it's pretty reasonable size. Print bed can reach up to 110 degrees and has a magnetic printing surface. By the way, you will get one extra one from the box. Plus, this bed is just not going out of the level, really. This printer is fully enclosed and it's not enclosed if you don't want. Simply removing those acrylic windows, top lid and door. One small thing that I absolutely love with this printer is this little button here. Automatic shutdown when the print is finished. It's so great when your print will finish middle of the night or you are just not around it. I absolutely love this. The sound level with this printer is um, somewhere between silent and loud. If you are using this printer fully enclosed then the sound level is even lower. You can mount filament spools on top here and inside the printer. One thing that annoys me so much with this printer is this yellow stripe here. I'm fine that GD Deck logo is here, but I'm not fine how much they block the view to the inside the printer. It's absolutely mind-blowingly stupid touch over here. It annoys me more than it should probably. But now it's time to change the hot end and start printing with carbon fiber nylon. The process isn't so difficult. Everything starts with this bolt that is on the top of the extruder. Then we can remove the cover and unplug the wire. Next I removed print cooling fan. The whole hot end is held together with those two bolts from the bottom. One is here and another is behind the cooling nozzle. So I had to remove this one also to have access to the both of those bolts. And now when this is done, out with the old and in with the new. <laughs> I hope I don't have copyright claim now. To mount a new hot end to the blaze, I had to repeat everything what I just did in reverse. Because I just changed the whole hot end and extruder, let's level the bed first. And this was an absolute surprise for me. The bed is still perfectly leveled. But okay, let's print carbon fiber nylon now. I tried to print pension boat. First one didn't turn out really great. In the reduction areas there is a lot of those really thick strings or blobs. And this area need a bit cooling. But the hull is pretty nice. But anyway I printed a new one with improved sli slicing settings. And it looked even worse. Then I printed something else that is more like mechanical thing. Let's be honest when you pull carbon fiber nylon you will not print with you you will not print cute models. Nylon is a strong material and this is meant for practical prints. So the thing that I am printing now is another my future wind turbine part. The model turned out really well and it released from the building surface really easily. A bit earlier I complained that prints stick on this too well, but now when I have printed those materials that usually have a bit problem with sticking on the printing surface, I understand why this is like this. So for who I can recommend this printer? If you are looking a printer for mostly PLA and want to print beautiful models, this printer does the work for you. But for sure you find a cheaper option for this. But if you are looking for a workhorse that can print even engineering materials such as nylon, PC or whatever is out there, then this printer is made for you. From the box you will get an extra extruder and hot end that can reach up to 300 degrees and has hardened steel nozzle. This print bed can reach more than 100 degrees and this printer is fully enclosed. If you print stuff as I do in this channel, then for sure I can recommend this printer for you. And this printer is worth the price. And actually this printer is beginner friendly, because there is no assembly and it's just so easy to use. 
This was my review. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.